So when I've stopped now, I can either uh, leave it in first and have my clutch ready to go and my foot on the brake as well so that when it goes to green, I can go straight away. Or if you're more comfortable, if you're more experienced, you can go into neutral and have it like that and then have your feet rested, you can relax. This way is a bit harder though. You need to be a bit more experienced for this because once it goes to amber, ideally you wanna start getting ready. So I'm gonna wait for it to go amber and then I'm gonna start getting ready. Or you can get ready earlier if you want to. It's up to you. But let that, I'm going to first gear, clutch down first gear, and then gas, and then bring my clutch to the biting point, and then I can go. But if you don't, if you don't want to deal with all that, just stay in first gear the whole time with your clutch down, then you can be ready to go. And you can move off quickly. So in this slow moving traffic, everyone's going around, what is it, like four miles an hour. So if I bring my clutch up now, it's gonna to go too fast. So to control that, I'm treating it like I'm doing a parking exercise. So I'm just gonna bring my clutch just to the biting point and then down again. So that way I'm not going too fast. So like up a bit and then down again. So that way you can creep forward a bit and then stop without the car struggling or without the car stalling. So I'll show you a bit up a bit and then down again. Just to the biting point to give it a little bit of a push and then down again. If I was to bring up the clutch too high, it will go way too close to that car. I'll do that if the traffic is going now. If the traffic starts moving freely, then I can bring my clutch up higher. But because everyone's kind of stopping and starting, it doesn't make sense to do that. So to control it, I'm just gonna bring the clutch a little bit up like that, and then down again, brake. So in this kind of traffic conditions, there's a lot of clutch work. Don't be afraid to press the clutch down. Don't be scared of coasting, or it's not really coasting. Don't be afraid of pressing the clutch down because you don't wanna coast. Here, you need to do that, otherwise you're gonna end up getting too close to the car in front. So give it a little bit of power and then down again. So now there's no power, the car's just rolling and then I brake again gently. So this might not seem like it, but this is a very steep hill. And if I'll show you how steep it is, if I put my handbrake down, I will have my foot on the brake as well. But if I put my handbrake down, the car's gonna roll back pretty much straight away. You see, the car rolls back straight away. That's how steep the hill is. There's different ways of doing a hill start. So one of them with the handbrake, I think most of you have seen the other video, but I'll show you anyway. So you wanna get the car into gear, get the biting point, with your clutch and add a bit of gas so that the revs are around um, 1,500 RPMs. And then when it's safe, you put the handbrake down, keep the clutch still, and then the car will move because it's already at the biting point. Another way to do it is with hill assist. So with the hill assist, you need to be in gear for it to work. So now that I'm in gear, if I press my brake and I let go of my brake, you see, the car doesn't roll back, but it doesn't hold it for that long. And then afterwards it starts rolling back. It holds it for about a second or so, just over a second. I'll show you again. To use hill assist to help you to move off, that those two seconds allow you time to go to the gas and then bring the clutch to the biting point. So if I was trying to move off now with the hill assist, all I would need to do is come off the brake, go straight to the gas, bring the clutch up to the biting point, and then that way I can start going forward without rolling back. But if your car hasn't got hill assist, so let me just tell, tell, turn the hill assist off. If you come off the brake, the car's gonna roll back straight away. Uh, because we're on a hill. So to prevent that, what you can do, if you don't want to use the handbrake technique, what you can do is bring the clutch up to the biting point already with your foot on the brake and you know you're at the biting point when the car starts to rumble a little bit and the engine noise changes slightly. The car's kind of rumbling right now. And then once you're ready to go, all you need to do is from then, keep the clutch still, add a bit of gas, and then the car will move forward without rolling back.